All right, everybody, we've made it to the reservoir. Can I drive over here? See and say. Sure. Do not block gate. Okay, so I'm not allowed to drive over there. All right. But I can walk over there. All right, guys, so this is, uh, this is where I'm fishing today. Up in the uh, Uintas. This little lake or this reservoir I saw as I was coming down on the BDR. Um, and I was like, man, I gotta fish that. So here we are. I've got myself a telescopic pole. The Black Hawk something. I don't remember what it's called. It's, it's, a, it's uh, not bad. Most of the telescopic poles are complete garbage, but that one was pretty nice. Whoa. That was not a good wheelie on my part. <laughs> bear country. Roar! That's the sound that bears make. All right, I'm just gonna park right here. Okay. Hooey. Oh. <laughs> you guys wanna see something fun? It finally came off. <laughs> I had a blinker that was wobbly for quite a while in it. And I got home from riding one day and I looked back and there was no blinker there. So, yeah. But, I will say, that bolt mod I did on the BDR, these guys, still holding up. Rock solid, I mean, it is a little flexy. You can see it flex, that's the steel frame for you, but yeah, this is my fishing pole. Pretty pleased with this thing. It's been a really good pull so far. King cast, something or other. Uh, I think if I, yeah, Blackhawk too. It's a pretty sweet pull. It's a, I got the uh, the extra lightweight one, so very bendy. So great for catching little trout, which is 90% of what you're going to be doing around here. So yeah. Anyways, let's get to fishing. Pretty rocky section, you guys. Getting technical. Okay. All right. Not bad. Okay, lots of jumps. Definitely a lot of fish. I 
might change my lure. They don't seem to be biting it. There's a lot of them here. They're not taken. Mm, snag. <laughs> yeah, they're not taken. All right, I'm gonna change my lure. They're not biting. Try something different. All right, you guys. Just gonna try out a little rooster tail spinner. Bush. Oh yeah. Got something on. A bad sized fish. That's an eater right there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. I can eat that. Yes, that's a good fish. They like silver. I've been using gold so far, so silver seems to be the ticket. Heck yeah. Let's get him on the chain. Fish almost just whacked me in the face. I had it too close to my head, apparently. All right, there's our boy. Let's go chain him up and find a spot for that. Whoa. Oh, it was a big bush. Every time. I swear the bushes fight harder than the fish. Got another one. Yes. All right, everybody. Fish have been cleaned, gutted. Oh yeah, it's been a good day today. Good day of fishing. Beautiful. It, uh, I think I fished for about five hours, something like that. And I caught two fish. And those are the fish we are going to be eating today. So, yeah, they've been cleaned and prepped. And now we are just gonna go off into the mountains, and try to find a place to camp for the night. Heck yeah.
This is technical here. I had to downshift. Oh yeah, that was not an easy hill climb. Let's just hope there's a beautiful camp spot just right around this corner here that I can stay in. Oh yeah, this is definitely a good gatekeeper. That hill climbing and that mud pit. And then there's this. Okay, I could camp here. It's like a cabin there right there. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, my echo it spooked me. All right, guys, before I do anything else, it is time to eat. I have uh, had very little food today, so I'm actually pretty excited to try out this fish. I have, uh, so making sure everything's in frame. I have high hopes. Well, yeah, high hopes. Hoping that it will be good and tasty and filling. And, uh, huh. Oh, I already took it out. Okay. Yeah, so today, the way we're going to cook this is a special technique called scrunched up pie sheets. Just got to unscrunch it here and... Okay. Yeah, so these don't, they don't hold up too good in your bag. <laughs> they were very cheap. Let's see. Before I do any fish cooking, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna love this. So, you know, I've always struggled finding forks that fit inside this cup. And well, I spotted this. Frozen! It's a frozen fork. And trucks for all those boys out there. Yep, hanging out with the boys with our trucks and frozen forks. <laughs> Apparently it's a cup of water that we need. I'm gonna do a little extra just to be safe. And then, yeah, let's get this baby going. All right, we're just gonna let that boil and then uh, move on. So what we got here is Idaho sour cream and chives. Man, my throat is a little burny from eating these. Doritos Dynamites or whatever. These things, while they burn, they are so good. <laughs> That's why my hands are all red. It's from those things. But anyways, I'm just going to pour these. Oh. Well, that's ripping already. So I'm going to pour these into here. And, uh, well, this might be a mistake, but pouring it in there, but we'll find out. I've actually never made these potatoes before. But, oh no. Yum. Mm-hmm. Let's wash my pants when I get home. Okay, now... Spread it out on there. <clears throat> they have already mashedified, potatoified. I don't know what what word is proper here. Yeah, they're gonna need all of my water. Oh, that looks delicious. <sighs> I know that it will be a tad cold when I get around to eating these, but. Yeah, oh well. Oh yeah, that's actually surprisingly good. Wow. These are way better than mountain houses. I should pack these on my trips. Holy cow. Hmm. Honestly, easier to make than a mountain house. They just kind of poof. Here we are, mashed potatoes. Oh yeah, this is not going to be the 
prettiest thing. It's all going to want to flow to one side. Not the best surface for cooking, but, you know, add a little more. So this is the bigger fish. These are, they're not huge fish, but two of them should make for a decent meal. So those are my little guys. The one day that I cook fish, I forget to bring soap. Oh yeah, these pants are gonna need to be cleaned when I get home. Okay, and now for the seasoning. So this stuff is, let's see if I can remember. It's Montreal steak seasoning with lemon pepper and salt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cook that inside there. We'll whip them all, open them up here. Oh yeah, season that stuff up good. Get these guys put in here. Yeah, that is a... I might have put too much oil in. We're frying them up tonight. <laughs> this is working really well, you guys. Oh, yeah, this is like already cooked. I'm using my forks here. Come on, flip. There we go. Oh, that oil is hot. Hot, hot, hot. I think the fish is done. Oh yeah, that's done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, <laughs> this is always a tricky procedure here. Okay. I'm going to separate the fish into here using my forks. This is going to be a surgical procedure because the fish are very tender and falling apart. That was very well done. Okay. Oh, there's a little piece of meat there. Oh, man. That's good. That is good. <laughs> Try to separate the bones from the from the business. Oh geez. Frozen no. Olaf or whatever her name is. I don't remember. That's the the snowman's name. That came off beautifully. There's still a few chunks in there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some some bones in, in my meat here, but I should be okay. Okay. Not perfect. I think it might have been slightly overcooked because the bones are breaking off a little too easy here. Not here, though. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, that chunk is beautiful. Mmm. <laughs> fish, fish, and fish. Oh. Look at that clean chunk of bones right there. Oh man. It doesn't get better than that. That is a full filet right there. Hopefully mostly bone free. Here's some pieces here. Uh, of course I will have to be careful eating this because bones are bones are bad business. Baby. Okay. That is so good. They were drenched, soaking in oil, so total fish fry going on. That chunk's got a lot of bones in it. <laughs> Can't be perfect. This one's slightly less cooked than the other one. It is a little bigger, so it makes sense. But that piece has quite a few bones in it. I'm going to have to watch out. Remove a bunch of them here. It's a very hands-on job eating freshly caught fish. Unless you know how to flay. I actually have never flayed a fish. But these guys 
This fish, these fish were a little too small for flaying anyway, so. The reason I've never flayed fish before is because here in Utah, most places here in Utah, you don't really get big fish. It's mostly small trout. Trout and cutthroats and what do you, what else, whatever else. That was a pretty clean chunk. These, near the back of the fish is usually where all the bones are seeming to build up here. Got a bunch out there. Well, that is beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna use the fork with the trucks on it because I'm a man. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that meal! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Well, yeah, those potatoes are still pretty warm. Let's try a chunk of fish. Mmm. That piece was completely bone free. Mmm. 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 My deboning jobs are getting better. That was a really weird sentence. What about this guy? Mm -hmm. Bone free. Got a fin. My red fingers from the Doritos. Gotta love it. This piece was honestly cooked perfectly. You know, it's been a very long time since I've had like a proper fresh caught fish dinner. The last couple times I've attempted were not nearly this good. This uh, oven pan thing, pie sheets, really did the trick. Worked very well. Mm. And that stove, it's hot for, where is it? It's hot for the first little bit, and then it kind of settles down. And it honestly cooked really evenly. Mm. This is so good. It's getting dark, you guys. I have to eat a little quicker before the sun goes down. Oh, yeah. That's it, you guys. Cleaned out all both those fish. Man, that was delicious. Mm, the oil makes a huge difference. Gotta love that. I had, definitely had that fried kind of flavor. But... Yeah, I'm just going to finish up eating these mashed potatoes, and I know I didn't set up the hammock yet, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I might try to film it. It's getting dark, so you guys might not really be able to see anything. So, I'm burping. This might be it for tonight. Um, so, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm just going to keep eating and get to bed. Nice hammock night, so, yeah. Taters now. Tater time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and chips. Mm. Thank you.